live in a world that's taken on the ways of the devil. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst religious leaders in history. People play games, friend. They lie, they lie. What can I do about lies? You- for this list, we'll be looking at people who rose to power through religion then use that power to cause widespread harm. However, we'll only be talking about leaders who were part of large religious organizations, not those who invented their own fringe cults, like Rock Terrio, Marshall Applewhite, or Charles Manson. Do you know of any other powerful people who used religion to justify their evil actions? Tell us in the comments. Number 10. Fred Phelps in 1955, this American minister founded the Westboro Baptist Church in Kansas. Regarded as a hate group, the organization, which is mostly made up of Phelps' relatives, has been condemned by many other Christian churches. It rose to notoriety for protesting at funerals, particularly those of gay people and soldiers. God put it in your wicked heart to start that war. Phelps believed that God hated homosexuals and was punishing the United States for tolerating their existence. The WBC drew considerable attention for carrying signs full of hateful rhetoric at the funeral of Matthew Shepard, a young gay man who was tragically murdered in 1998. Phelps passed away in 2014. Ironically, he may have helped the cause for gay rights, being so awful that no one wanted to agree with him. You wasted an opportunity and they're probably going to fire you. You don't know anything about me, Pastor Yeah, Phelps. I do. I know all oh. there is to know about you. You're just an evil... <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go there. Number 9. Jeffrey Lundgren Dismissed from the position as a temple tour guide, Jeffrey Lundgren proclaimed himself a prophet and started his own sect of the Mormon Church. He convinced his supporters that the second coming of Jesus was imminent and that they had to make a blood sacrifice. Jeff found whatever a person's greatest need or weakness was, and then he portrayed himself as being the person that could provide that need. He had in mind his own followers, Dennis and Cheryl Avery, who had declined to move in with him and kept a separate bank account. In April 1989, he invited them to his farmhouse with their three young daughters and killed them all. Paranoid, he eventually abandoned the cult and went on the run. They felt humiliated. Most of all, they felt terrified. His crime was revealed by a member who apparently didn't object to the murder, so much as Lundgren planned to marry his wife. Lundgren was put to death in 2006. Number 8. David Koresh Born Vernon Howell, David Koresh wasn't just a religious leader. He was the Messiah, at least so he claimed. I've assumed the burden of sex for us all, but not for my own kicks. He and his followers lived in an isolated compound in Waco, Texas, where they stockpiled illegal weapons. Negotiating with the local dope dealer or cop killer because David and the other people in charge want to talk about the Bible. When government agents came to investigate in February of 1993, there was a deadly shootout, leading to a siege of 51 days. It remains unclear who fired first. On April 19th, for reasons that are still debated, a fire broke out and consumed the building and nearly everyone inside. Koresh was shot and killed. In the aftermath, the FBI faced considerable criticism, but Koresh was not exonerated either. Survivors said he abused his followers, including children, and some authorities believe he always intended for everyone to die. Number 7. Theodore McCarrick Although the Catholic Church has faced widespread accusations of child abuse, Theodore McCarrick is the only cardinal in the United States to have been criminally charged. For decades, Uncle Ted, as he was creepily known, allegedly abused male seminarians and minors. Public accusations began to emerge in 2018. Ironically, in the 2000s, McCarrick was a vocal proponent of the church's no-tolerance policy toward abuse. Zero tolerance, prospectively, everybody's on the same page. His misconduct was apparently something of an open secret, potentially implicating his superiors for their inaction. Now in his 90s, it's unclear if he'll be able to stand trial. Number 6. Dove Lior in Israel, Orthodox Rabbi Dov Lior is a powerful religious and political figure. 
part of a far-right nationalist movement for an ethnic and religious state. Lior has gone farther than many, however, with his open support for the murder of civilians and ethnic cleansing. In 1994, for instance, he lavished praise on Israeli-American mass murderer Baruch Goldstein, who killed 29 Muslims in a Hebron mosque. He also claimed the 2015 Islamic State attacks on Paris, which left 130 civilians dead, were deserved as payback for the Holocaust. Lior has translated his intolerant views into action as well. When Israel invaded the Gaza Strip in 2014, he issued a religious ruling that encouraged soldiers to kill civilians and, if necessary, destroy Gaza entirely. Number 5. Shoko Asahara In March of 1995, terrorists released sarin gas inside the Tokyo subways, killing 13 people. Thousands more were injured. It was the worst attack on Japan since World War II. It had been masterminded by a man named Shoko Asahara through his cult, Om Shinrikyo, a doomsday spinoff of Buddhism. Although its relationship to Buddhism is debated, he hoped to trigger a third world war, an apocalypse, and to distract people from investigating the cult. Of course, it had the opposite effect. It turned out that Om Shinrikyo had been experimenting with chemical and biological weapons for years and were responsible for previous attacks. Ashihara and his accomplices were put to death in 2018. I told myself, this is just a yoga of the Mahamudra, of a true enlightened master. Number 4. Warren Jeffs You think they know we're outsiders right now? Not quite yet, but I will be able to tell when they do. Although the Mormon church renounced polygamy over a century ago, fringe sects persist that insist the practice is holy, pretty convenient for the male leaders. Warren Jeffs, leader of the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, is one of the most infamous. By the time he was arrested in 2006, Jeffs had assigned himself 78 wives, 24 of whom were under 17. He had also overseen numerous other marriages to underage girls. In 2011, Jeffs was convicted for sexual assault of minors and sentenced to life in prison. He remains president of the church and requires his supporters to pray frequently for his escape. Apparently, he blames his continued imprisonment on their lack of faith. We live in a world that's taken on the ways of the devil. Number 3. Jim Jones On the outside, Jim Jones was a charismatic preacher whose church, the People's Temple, promoted economic and racial equality. I represent divine principle, total equality, a society where people own all things in common, where there is no rich or poor, where there are no races. Behind the facade, he was a con man who staged fake miracles and abused his followers. Without our pastor Jim Jones to teach me the right way, I would not be in college right now. As word of his misconduct spread in the 1970s, he left California to found a commune in Jonestown, Guyana, South America. They had carved out a community. They had crops growing. They had cabins. They had a little medical clinic, a little daycare area. Reports of further abuse led California Congressman Leo Ryan to investigate personally in 1978. <laughs> A few conversations I've had with some of the folks here already this evening that uh, whatever the comments are, there are some people here who believe that this is the best thing that ever happened to them in their whole life. While in Guyana, he was shot and killed, and Jones ordered his followers to drink Flavor Aid laced with cyanide. 909 people died, many of them kids. This horrific tragedy is where we get the expression drinking the Kool-Aid. Maria Katsaris walked up to him and whispered in his ear, and he looked at her and said, is there any way to make it taste less bitter? Uh, and she said, no, no, apparently not. Number 2. Joseph Kony You may have first heard of this Ugandan militant from the Kony 2012 documentary video, which went viral. Founder of the Christian fundamentalist rebel group, the Lord's Resistance Army, Kony is responsible for horrible atrocities in Uganda, the Congo, and Sudan. Kony was a Catholic altar boy and directs his soldiers to draw crosses on themselves and their guns with oil before battle. He also incorporates traditional African rituals into their routine. However, he's known for his history of torturing civilians, attacking refugee camps, and forcing children to join his army. As of writing, he was in hiding, wanted by the International Criminal Court for war crimes and crimes against humanity. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Osama Bin Laden Osama Bin Laden is one of the most infamous terrorist masterminds in history. In his native Saudi Arabia, he was regarded as a war hero for his role fighting the Soviets in the Soviet-Afghan War. However, in 1988, he founded the Islamic terrorist group Al-Qaeda. <laughs> His larger goal was to establish a supranational Islamic State, denouncing American foreign policy and secularism. He declared a jihad against the United States and was behind the 1998 bombings of the U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania and the 2001 September 11th attacks that killed almost 3,000 people. The U.S. government has committed acts that are extremely unjust, hideous, and criminal through its support of the Israeli occupation of Palestine. Since bin Laden's death in 2011, other terrorist leaders, like the now-deceased Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi of ISIS, and Abubakar Shakao of Boko Haram have continued his legacy of religious violence. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.